Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Got a light that's been highly requested and long awaited in terms of a test. It's the Dimlux Extreme series. This is their 800 watt uh, version with near infrared as well. And it is a very powerful and very technically advanced grow light. I think the most advanced grow light that I've tested um, so far it's packed full of features we're going to go through. Dimlux is a Dutch company from Holland, uh, very experienced in the growing sector, indoor growing sector, been around for many, many years. And this is their new flagship model. It claims 3.6 micromoles per joule, which is extremely high. Um, and we're going to look at to see if the actual performance of the lamp in the tests matches that claim. So um, yeah, let's dig a little deeper. So this is a big foldable LED bar light. It's got six LED bars and you can see they are tilted. So uh, each of the ones on this side tilt over in this direction and uh, vice versa on this side. And that's to give the most even spread possible. Underneath here, the LEDs are encapsulated in a plastic lens. And this not only protects the LEDs, but it directs that light and focuses it down onto the plant canopy. The Dimlux Extreme also has a proximity sensor or motion sensor. And when the lights are off, if you come near the grow light, it'll bring on these little uh, green lights at a very low level, which will just give you an ability to check out your plants in the middle of a dark cycle. As a power all these features on the Dimlux Extreme, you got this control interface here, the little uh, keypad panel and a display. And from here, you can select, um, first of all, you can select the spectrum. So you can select the bloom spectrum, which is high on the red and the infrared uh, and maximum power output. Or you can select the bloom spectrum, or the, sorry, the growth spectrum, which is the basically for the vegetative stage. And there you can uh, you get a much higher proportion of blue in the spectrum, which um, incentivizes short, dense plants, and uh, you get nice tight growth for that uh, vegetative stage. You've also got a timer, so you can set the clock, set the time for on and off. Um, you've got a feature where if you are um, if you put in the dimensions of the uh, grow area that you're using, you can actually. Um, specify the output not just by percentage or by power um, but also by PPFD which is a really cool feature. There are other things you can do in here as well so the one other thing is the ionizer so an ionizer is um, a little device that outputs negative ions and these negative ions uh, collect together positive pieces of basically dirt and dust, but also pathogens in the air. So they'll basically pull out uh, particles in the air. So if there's any um, pathogen in the air, they will drop to the ground and they won't, um, they won't carry on to uh, infect all of your plants. It's a really simple, uh, usable interface, uh, very easy to set up and uh, yeah, very intuitive. I of course tested the light and the first thing I did was test the spectrum. So I put it into the bloom phase, phase which is maximizing all of the output. Um, so you got white LEDs here, uh, 660 nanometer reds and also 730 nanometer um, near infrareds. In the bloom phase they are all put up to maximum and at 100%. I verified that spectrum with the Ascent to Tech spe spectra so I verified that spectrum with the Sensatec spectral radiometer and uh, it is exactly as it's described on the, uh, the little control panel here. So from a specification point of view, this light pretty much has everything. Large powered light for a 5x5 is going to deliver really high power. It's got those lenses. Um, so even if you don't have reflective areas, if you're in an open plan room, you're going to get really good direction of that light down onto the plant canopy. It's going to be much more efficient than a wide spreading light in that scenario. It's got the lenses to protect the LEDs and um, then of course it's got the variable and adjustable spectrum along with the, um, the ionizer. So 
overall really high spec light. In terms of the claim at 3.6 uh, micromoles per joule, in any test you would expect around between 10 to 15 percent reduction. So the PPF output that 3.6 micromoles per joule is the total amount of light the um, fixture outputs. What I test is I put this fixture into a 5 by 5 space or 1.5 meter by 1.5 meter space and hang it at the minimum hanging height, which in this case is 42 centimeters or about 16 inches, 17 inches. And I test with a, um, an EPAR sensor. So measuring 400 to 750 nanometers, picking up those um, near infrared photons I measure uh, the whole, the, uh, the average power across the whole area. Now in the test I did, I did it with the bloom setting. Uh, which is, um, I don't think, the most efficient setting, but it's the most powerful setting. And in the test, I got a really impressive result. So the average power this fixture outputs onto uh, that area, the 5x5, is uh, 1077 micromoles. So that's right up there at the very high level. And the system efficiency was 2.87 uh, usable PPF per watt which is outstanding. It's a very, very high result. Um, and albeit the fixture is a little bit on the expensive side, you, know, you would expect that price. Um, using those components and this amount of features um, in a fixture like this, you would expect the price that it is. Um, they don't sell directly, but uh, I'll put links down below to their website so you can check out their website and do a search for your local area to see what price it is for you because they sell worldwide. But uh, in my view, it's good value for money for a light that's specified this highly and uh, with this level of performance. So really impressed with it. Great to see innovation in the market uh, with the ionizer um, and the variable spectrum and the lensing all combined together. It's an incredible package. And uh, yeah, congratulations to Dimlux.